Okay, so this arching structure we're looking at here is the bottom uh, back of uh, Mandalorian helmet from the game uh, Star Wars: The Old Republic that I'm uh, that I'm currently building. Now, I wanted to do a video about this particular section here because there's a lot of misconception about when you need to print uh, an object with uh, raft or support and when you don't. Uh, in this case, you see that it's an arching structure um, and it's hollow on the inside, okay? So I can put my, my hand in there. Could have been printed with support. However, that would have wasted a lot of material and the support in this case is not all that necessary. Yes, you can see that there's some ugly uh, plastic thing happening over here okay uh, so basically that's an overhang that uh, when the printer gets to that spot it tries to deposit a layer of plastic however the layer underneath it doesn't exist so it ends up uh, noodling noodling down like that okay it looks like noodles in this particular case that's not a big deal because the section um, of the print here is fairly thick so even if the first few layers end up getting like that, eventually it's going to build up a perfectly flat surface onto which it can start depo depositing subsequent layers. As you can see at the top here, the print at the top here is perfect. Okay, Down here, not so much, but up here it's perfect. And that's the most important part because this is the surface, the, the top surface is what's going to get smoothed and, uh, and ultimately molded. Now another thing I wanted to show you guys is, uh, note this overhang here, okay, that surface. Um, I printed this without supports and that's made possible by the fact that that uh, undercut surface is not 100% parallel to the ground. Uh, it's, I would say it's slanted at about 15, 15 degrees or so. That allows us to print this without, uh, without using any supports. When the printer builds each layer uh, height-wise, each subsequent layer is built a slightly wider uh, or slightly more extended to the left in the layer below it but it's not extended so far that there is no plastic available for it to uh, to grab onto it's extended just enough to deposit the layer onto the edge of the layer below it so in other words there is some plastic available for each subsequent layer um, to deposit onto as it's being built so you can see that the surface here it's not a hundred percent perfect okay there are some trouble spots there's some unevenness but it's nothing that can't be fixed with minimum uh, with minimum work uh, again it's not as perfect as the ledge below here okay but it's uh, nowhere near as bad as something like this that would require a lot of work to clean up the other important thing to see here is that the detailing at the top right there that little circle is done perfectly and the reason for that as well uh, is because of the way this is positioned. Now I could have taken this object and flipped it like so, where this surface here would have come into contact with the build plate, okay? But that would have uh, given me some problems uh, towards the end of the build, mainly at that overhang right there, because that would have been perfectly uh, parallel to the ground, or almost parallel to the ground, which would have resulted in noodles and I would have also potentially had a lot of cleanup to do along this seam here anyways so when you're 3d printing anything try to position the object in such a way that you don't have any underhangs that are perfectly parallel to the ground try to slice the model in such a way that you have at least a bit of an angle for the printer to grab onto the layer below it and uh, um, basically that's what I do I print as much as possible without supports uh, which saves material as well as makes the print uh, more clean. Thanks for watching, guys.